what is the essence of living with a wicked wife? Mr. Tony Martins, you have been in this company for a number of years now. To ensure high productivity, this organization gave you a lot of benefits, which includes an official house, a car, free medical treatment, for you and your family members. Opportunity to travel abroad for workshops and further studies. In spite of all these privileges, you still remain unproductive to the organization. The existence of every company is determined by the quality of its manpower. For any organization to survive and maintain a standard, there's a need for efficient and productive workers. Mr. Tony Martins, since you have failed to meet up with the demand of this organization for many years, the company can no longer stand the risk of keeping an unproductive worker like you. In view of this, Mr. Tony Martins, you are hereby fired. Ah! Ah! No! Ah! Ah!
ada. <laughs> please, sir, please. Make sure you hand over all company properties in your possession, including the official car, within the next 48 hours. Please, sir, please, 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 please. Accounts, zero accounts, zero accounts. Oh, zero accounts, zero accounts, zero accounts, zero As a man of God, I prophesy into your life that the dream shall surely come to pass in your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Sir, before I woke up from the dream, I saw a lot of people congratulating me for building such a magnificent mansion and a private university. That is great. And the seal of the Lord will perform it. Amen. 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 Thank you, sir. Okay, Brother Tony, when are you leaving for the National Youth Conference? Okay. Oh, the camp is opening on Wednesday evening. But the entire state presidents and national executives are expected to be on ground later by 10 a.m. on Tuesday for special meetings and um, proper planning before the arrival of others. Since the journey will take me solely 16 hours, I've decided to leave today. In fact, in a couple of minutes, I should be at the motor park. Brother Tony, honestly, I'm very proud of your commitment and seal to the work of the Lord. It is my prayer that the Lord whom you serve will not forget your labor of love. Amen, amen, amen. Let me pray with you. In Jesus' name. Amen, amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Daddy. God bless you, sir. All right. <sighs> Gift. Gift. I'm good to go. Are you Mr. Tony Martins? Yes. Oh, that's right. Uh, you have a message with us. Please, you have to sign this document for me. Some years ago, a rich man owned a garden. He planted a beautiful purple seed on a fertile land. Then he employed laborers to watch over the seed until it grew to the stage of producing fruits. Few years later, when the harvest time came, the rich man visited his fine yard with the expectation of getting sweet purple on the purple tree in his garden. But his expectation was cut off because there was no single fruit on the purple tree. The rich man ordered his workers to cut down the fruitless purple tree. But the laborer pleaded with him to give the tree some time, maybe it will bear fruit. The laborer Work on it day and night. Three years later, 
The rich man returned to his fine yard and discovered that the purple tree had grown big, yet it bore no fruit. Tony Martins, if you are the owner of the vineyard, what will you do to the fruitless purple tree? I will uproot the fruitless purple tree from the vineyard and I will plant another one. Very good. What a wonderful judgment. Tony Martins, you have just declared your own judgment. Ah? Uh -uh. My judgment? Uh -uh. How? Tony Martins, prepare to meet your Lord. Ah? Uh -uh. Ah? Uh -uh. Mr. Man, who are you? Ah? Where did you come from? I mean, where did you come from? Brother Tony, you look disturbed. Why? Jesus. Brother Tony, the contents of this letter is the same with the dream I had about you three days ago. I told you about the dream. But you failed to pay attention to it. You thought God could not speak to you. Through a small child like myself. Hello, Bro Steven. I'm about leaving the house now. In fact, in the next couple of minutes, I should be at the motor park. All right, all right. All right. That's okay. Thank you. <clears throat> Gift. You see, I don't want you to bother yourself about the dream you had or what is written in the letter. I know how to handle such issues like this. And I promise you, as soon as I return from the conference next week, I will definitely do something about it. Is that okay by you? That's my sister. I'm running out of time. I have to be on my way. God bless you and be with you. Zero accounts. Zero accounts. Zero accounts. Zero accounts. Zero How will it be at the set zone beyond the blue to find some souls you've won for Christ? Let others see Jesus in you, so that your account, so that my account, so that your account. So that my accounts will not be the man. Eh? Zero accounts, zero accounts, zero accounts.
Fish to extend the saving grace. Why you a sinner, Christ died for you. Share it to others by snatching them from fire. Share it to others so that your heart counts will be activated. Zero accounts, 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 zero accounts. The set zone beyond the blue to find some source you fall for Christ. Let others see Jesus in you so that your account, so that my account, so that your account, so that my account will not be the man. Zero accounts, 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 zero accounts. Of fish to extend the saving grace. Why you a sinner? Christ died for you. Share it to others by snatching them from fire. Share it to others so that your heart counts will be activated. Zero accounts, 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 zero accounts. They say there's nothing I can do. Why the souls of men are dying and the master calls on you? Embrace the calling. Embrace the calling. Embrace the calling so that your heart can't once be faulty. Embrace the calling, embrace the calling, oh, embrace the calling, so that your heart counts once be faulty. Heaven we not eh, 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 eh. well over my life, lie, lie, I mean, heaven we not eh, 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 eh.
we try our very best. But he has lost too much blood. We are so sorry. We lost him. Ah! Jesus! Survivors, there were a lot of unbelievers in the bus. Yet, a faithful and dedicated child of God died in the midst of the righteous ones. What an irony! Oh, Lord. The entire church will be devastated by this news. Oh! But why not? <laughs> why not? God! But why? <laughs> oh God! Ah! Brother Tony! Brother Tony Martins! Oh Jesus! Hey! Lord! Why Lord? You are now your child, a faithful worker in your house, to die a shameful death. But the entire state presidents and national executives are expected to be on ground latest by 10 a.m. on Tuesday for special meetings and um, proper planning before the arrival of others. Since the journey will take me Solid 16 hours. I've decided to leave today. Lord, why did you choose to save the life of the children of the devil while your own son died? God saved the sinners from death. Because he doesn't want anyone to perish, but for all to come to repentance. God did that in order to give them more opportunities to hear the gospel. Perhaps they will accept him and give their lives to him. But why did God refuse to save Brother Tony's life? He was the only one that died in the accident. Or was the scripture fulfilled over him? Which scripture? That the righteous are taken away before the evil days. No, that is far from the truth. Then what happened? Tony Martins was called home because his life was a wasted investment to heaven. Wasted investment? How do you mean? Indeed, Tony Martin's life was a wasted investment to God. Here is the gate that leads to hell. 
and the horrible noise you are hearing are the cries of the inhabitants. <sighs> Tony Martins, you sent a lot of lives into horrible destination. <laughs> a place of everlasting torment and gnashing of teeth. Uh -uh. The agony of their precious souls made heaven to mourn over you. Uh-uh. Oh! Oh! Martins, why did you allow me to end my destiny here? Oh. <laughs> why did you refuse to tell me that this is the end of a sinner that is just a crisis? <laughs> We lived together for four years as a roommate in the university. Throughout this year, you did not open your mouth to tell me about the hell. <laughs> for what? We were sitting together in the same room, but you never bother to solve me the way. Ah, ah, to the body. Ah, I remember that fateful night we saw last on earth. That evening, I told you that. <laughs> Some group of friends. Invited me to enjoy their court. <laughs> and that night was the initiation night. I expected you to stop me from going for the initiation. <laughs> and show me the same Jesus you have. But you abandoned me <laughs> with my body. <laughs> You told me you were late for fellowship. During the initiation, there was a counter attack from the rival court. <laughs> I lost my life in the fight. Friend, friend, if you had preached Christ to me that night, I would have lived to fulfill my God-given dream. <laughs> and after death, I would have been with Jesus Christ. Ah. To the Martins, we lived together for four years. Will you fail? To tell me that hell is real. Why? Why to the body? Why? <laughs> My innocent soul is languishing in hell. And I am gone forever. <laughs> no, 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 no. Sunday time, oh please, forgive me. I never knew that night would be the last we will be seeing ourselves. Ah! 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 Had I known, I would have cancelled the fellowship and introduced Jesus to you. 
Don't they please? Forgive me. <laughs> Forgive me for allowing you to end up here. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Sandy Taiwo! Ah! You are gone, Sandy <laughs> No! No! Sandy! <laughs> Friend, but I hate you with passion. <laughs> because you refused to take me along to hell. We, we lived together in the same corpus lodge and did a primary assignment in the same secondary school. <laughs> Due to our closeness, all the coppers gave us a name. Husband and wife. <laughs> On different occasions, <laughs> I invited you to party in the nightclub. <laughs> yeah. And I encourage you to live the kind of life I live. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> no, you always turn me down. But you never told me. <laughs> the reason why you refused to enjoy life the way other couples did. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Tony, <laughs> you never invited me to where you love to go. You never invited me to church. <laughs> ah, yeah. Our one year of friendship was a wasted adventure. <laughs> I remember. I remember. I remember that faithful day we collected our discharge certificate at the stadium. The person out my race. <laughs> <laughs> we boarded the same cab to the garage <laughs> where we were to board buses to our different destinations. Oh, oh. <laughs> right inside the cab, I saw a truth that read, Jesus the way, the truth and the life. <laughs> Immediately, my spirit was troubled. <laughs> And I felt it was not an ordinary way. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I called your attention to it. Oh, oh. I asked you to explain the words to me. Oh, but you turned me down. <laughs> because you lost your flash drive in the stadium. Oh, oh. <laughs> When we got to the garage, I refused to take a bus going to my destination. Oh, <laughs> I begged you, I begged you to hear a word that would change my destiny. <laughs> At the end, you promised to call me the following day and explain the words to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bad boss. I tried your lines, but they weren't going through. In fact, it was after a month that Fumi, your friend, told me about your death. 
Ah! My God! Ah! <laughs> <Tony> Mathis! <laughs> I only knew the beginning of the journey. <laughs> but I never lived to know where the journey ended. <laughs> I died in the bus as a result of a murder attack. <laughs> Tony Mazis, I said it my love to you. <laughs> but you never for once send the love of Christ to me. <laughs> Me. I never knew that Johnny would be your last on earth. In fact, I am a fool. I am a fool. <laughs> 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 And I know, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah! Rose Mantis! Rose! <laughs> Rose! What are you doing here? Ah! My sister! Yay! <laughs> my brother! <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why did you allow your younger sister to end up alive in a place of internal sorrow? <laughs> You hated me for my sinful life. <laughs> you complained about my waywardness. <laughs> but you never showed me the love of Christ for sinners. <laughs> I even thought Jesus died for some people. <laughs> I never knew he died for all. <laughs> Until I find myself in here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Jesus died for all. He died for all. <laughs> <laughs> I was dying on the sick bed in the hospital because of abortion <laughs> and a brother of mine who knew the consequence of going into eternity without Jesus <laughs> refused to console my dying soul by preaching Christ to me. <laughs>
<laughs> it pays. I cried for your forgiveness <laughs> and asked for your sincere prayers. But you don't give ears to my plea. <laughs> My brother, why? Why did you send me to a place of internal condemnation? I am gone forever! <laughs> <laughs> No! <laughs> no! Stop! Yes! I can't stand seeing more of the inhabitants of hell in their hopeless situation. Yes! Stop. Tony Martins, it is time to proceed to the next stage. <laughs> To the matters. After a believer has received grace to get past to heaven at the gate of great separation, where the righteous ones are separated from the evil ones, the work of such believer must undergo a test of fire before he or she will proceed to heaven. The workmanship of each person will become evidence. For the day we show what it is, because it will be refilled with fire. And the fire will test the quality of each person's work. What a wonderful judgment. Tony Martins, you have just declared your own judgment. Ah? Uh -huh. My judgment? Uh -huh. How? Tony Martins, prepare to meet your Lord. Uh -uh. Mr. Man, who are you? Ah, where did you come from? Ah. I mean, where did you come from? Tony Martins, if what one has built on the foundation survives, he will receive a reward. But if his work is burnt up, he suffers a loss. However, he himself will be saved. But it will be like going through fire. of God. Why? Why did my work get burnt? <laughs> I used all my life on earth to serve the Lord. I was dedicated to his service in our local church. I lived a righteous life. And I avoided saying, Ah! Tony Martins, truly you did all those works for God when you were on earth. And they were good works. <laughs> but that is not the heartbeat of God. <sighs> that is not the ultimate expectation of heaven from you as a Christian. <laughs> because unbelievers do the same. <laughs> 
Sinners also clean the church. Ah. Sing with the choir. <laughs> pay their tithes. Oh. And give offering regularly. Oh my God. Tony Martins. Oh. Since the day you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. How many lives did you lead to Christ? <laughs> how many souls have you prayed the gospel to? <laughs> how many lives? They do win for Christ. Oh my God. Hmm. The primary assignment of every Christian is so winning. Ah. God is not interested in the cathedral you build or beautify. Ah. God is less concerned about the material things you bring into his house. Ah. God have what interests God are the souls you win to heaven. <laughs> hmm. There is a great joy in heaven over a single lost soul <laughs> that is found. <laughs> Son, why did you waste all my investment on you? I invested so much on you, but I gained nothing in return. Tony Martins, I gave you everything a young man desires in life. I preserve you right from the womb to the very minute you close your eyes in death. Even when you were yet to accept me into your life, I preserve your soul from death so that you will not end in hell. Son, I did all this for you so that one day your life will bring profit to my father's kingdom. But alas, those were dreams that never came to pass. For the sake of the gospel, these ones were stoned, shone asunder, beheld it, and nailed to the cross. They wandered about in sheepskins and goatskins, afflicted and tormented, they didn't build a single mansion for themselves on health, but here they lived in big mansion because they spend their lives on health preparing for heavenly mansion by winning souls into my father's kingdom. A lot of men and women had shed their blood just for the gospel to get across to the whole world. John Wycliffe, the Bible translator, he was the first person that made the scriptures available for common men to read by translating the Bible from Latin language to English language. John Wycliffe's second stroke came at the end of December 1384 as a result of tireless efforts in translating the Bible both day and night, in prison and caves. Three days later, on December 31st, 1384, John Wycliffe died. He left the hell to be with me. John Hawes, the father of reform, took over from John Wycliffe and continued the task of translating Bible. On the morning of July 6, 1415, Hall stood before the council. He realized that his hour had come to die. He fell on his knees and prayed aloud, Lord Jesus Christ, I implore thee, forgive all my enemies for thy great mercy's sake. He was stripped of all his clothing, except for a thin shirt. And then tied to a stake by a rope and whole rusty chain. The stuck bundles of wood mixed with straw hopped to his chain. Before the fire was set, horse was approached one last time and asked to recant. He lifted his voice and speaking in German, said, God is my witness 
that the principal intention of my preaching and of all my other heart of writing was solely that I might turn men from sin. And in that truth of the gospel that I wrote, taught and preached, I am willing gladly to die today. Then the executioner were ordered to sell the fire. As the flame began to grow, horse could be heard singing in a loud voice, Christ, thou son of living God, have mercy on me. He was only able to sing it three times before the wind blew the flames into his face. John Horse dropped his voice and prayed silently until the flames consumed him. While the flames on earth were still ravaging his body, her spirit was already in heaven with me. David Livingstone, the great missionary to Africa, sacrificed the life of his wife and children for the salvation of Africa. David Livingstone died on his knee in the heart of Africa, praying for the souls he had preached to. Elizabeth Adegoke sacrificed her last paper as a final year student in the university just to preach the gospel to you. That faithful morning, you gave your life to me, you became a child of God. Elizabeth's heart was filled with joy because of your salvation, and heaven also rejoiced over you. Elizabeth spent an extra year to sit for the exam she failed to write because of your salvation. Son, I paid the price for your soul with my blood. Men like you also died just for my gospel to reach you. What have you done for the lost souls? If the watchman sees his word coming, it doesn't blow the trumpet, warning the people, and the sword comes and takes anyone off, I will hold the watchman responsible for the bloodshed of any unwanted sinner. Tony Martins, your life is just a wasted investment to heaven. Many lives are languishing in hell because you refuse to show them how to mend line. Those ones are gone forever. Indeed, Tony Martins, you are counting heaven is just a zero account. Ah, ah Jesus Christ. God refused to save his life in that minor accident because his life did not profit heaven. Reverend Dan, what is the essence of preserving a plant that fails to bear fruit for many years? Every tree that fails to bear fruit shall be cut down. Reverend Dan, tell the saved ones to go out and save the lost ones. Tell the church to take the work of evangelism serious and place more priority on the work of soul winning. Tell the church and individuals to spend larger percentage of their income on mission work. Tell your fellow ministers to build people for kingdom of God and stop building big cathedrals that will be destroyed one day. <sighs> Save others by snatching them from the fire of hell. Otherwise, your life will be a wasted investment in God's kingdom. Remember? Jesus paid the price for your salvation. He shed his precious blood for the redemption of your soul. What will you do to appreciate his love over your life? Oh Lord, we know the church have failed in our responsibility 
Have mercy, O oh Lord. Have mercy, O oh Lord. Have mercy, O oh Lord. Brethren, that was the vision God showed me concerning the death of our beloved brother. Brother Tony has gone and ended his Christian journey that way. But I put it to you and I today. Shall we go empty-handed? Shall we meet our Lord with all fruits in our hands? I beseech you, brethren, let us cry to God for mercy that we will not end our Christian journey like Brother Tony, that we will not be a wasted investment, that we will not end with a zero account in heaven. Let us cry to God and beseech God so that we will not end our life like Brother Tony. Let us cry to God. Let us beseech Him. Never hide this There's nothing I can do. Why the souls of men are dying and the master calls on you? Embrace the calling. Embrace the calling. Embrace the calling so that your heart can once be faulty. Embrace the calling. So that your heart can't move before you.